This is the one time a year that the mayor gives a long speech. Usually I'm pretty short and to the point, but tonight we're going to take the time because there's been some tremendous accomplishments done by this uh, city this year, and I certainly want to thank the city council for your work, the staff and citizens, and with that we will start the state of the city. Ladies and gentlemen of the city council and my fellow citizens of Fedville, tonight I'm proud to report that the state of our city is sound. 2015 was a great year and we expect 2016 to be even better. Though 2015 was not without controversy in this city, but our differences don't divide us. They make us stronger and more prosperous as a community. The economy of Federal has been exceptional. The sales tax collect collections for 2015 are expected to be more than 5% over budget. <coughs> Due to increased revenue collections and good money management, we believe that we will see a surplus <coughs> for 2015. Federal citizens should know that this administration and this city council continue to be good stewards of your tax dollars in order to maintain and enhance our infrastructure and quality of life and build a strong foundation for the future of our city as we continue to grow. I always enjoy recounting the honors, awards, and accolades garnered by Federal's hardworking public servants and volunteers who shaped the very soul of this city. This year, Sondra Smith received the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Brotherhood Award in 2015, given in recognition to a city employee whose service to our city and the community best exemplifies <coughs> Dr. King's dream of equality, justice, and brotherhood. Sondra was also honored in 2015 to receive the Arkansas Municipal League's Municipal Clerk of the Year Award. Our city attorney, Kit Williams, provides wise legal counsel and helps navigate the city through negotiation and avoidance of litigation risk. <coughs> Kit also brings recognition to the city by serving his 14th year as the state chair of the International Municipal Lawyers Association. Thank you, Kit. The Federal Police Department was inducted into the Federal Public Schools Superintendent's honor roll for its steadfast commitment to the safety of the students, faculty, and staff of Federal High School. Our Media Services Department received a 2015 Bronze Telly Award for excellence in video production for the Recycle Something media campaign. Friends of Gully Park won the Arkansas Recreation and Parks Association Award for Volunteer Group of the Year and Federal Citizen Frank Sharp received the Volunteer Individual of the Year Award. Federal was recognized by the International Mountain Bike Association as a bronze level regional bike center. And Cityscapes named Wilson Park the best public park and Gully Park as runner up in the best of Northwest Arkansas award. Federal has been designated as a Tree City USA for the 20th year by the Arbor Day Foundation. In other categories, Council, I want you to hear this tonight. In other categories, Federal was named number three best city to found a company outside of Silicon Valley and New York by Data Fox, number four best college town in the nation, and number one in the SEC by livability.com. Quite an accomplishment. We're the winner of the Green Energy Conser Conservation Initiatives category, an honorable mention in the Quality of Life category for the Arkansas Business City of Distinction. We're in the top 100 best places for business and careers in Forbes magazine, and in the top 100 best place to live by livability.com. The Arkansas, we're again the Arkansas, an Arkansas Volunteer Community of the Year Award for the sixth consecutive year, an astonishing 681,000 hours of service were given by tens of thousands of volunteers in 2014, creating an economic impact of 
$15,720,000. We were second in the small city population category by the Center for Digital Government's Digital Communities. The Tour of Federal's Historic Properties website as the Achievement in Technology Award from the Arkansas Chapter of the American Planning Association. The city with the fastest growing population in Arkansas as named by the U.S. Census Bureau and the only city in Arkansas to receive and retain a star rating from the Star Community Sustainability Tools for Assessing and Rating Communities. Also in 2015, the Federal Public Library was named the Best of Northwest Arkansas by Cityscapes and Northwest Arkansas Best of the Best by the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. These accomplishments and many more are a vital part of what makes this city great. In Federal, we believe in a partnership-based government. We're all part owners together. The power of community, volunteerism, education, livability, and infrastructure creates a synergy for Federal that continues to propel its economic engine. Both as a city council member and as mayor, I have always been a strong proponent for infrastructure improvements as a foundation for Federal's quality of life and economic development. In this city, we build infrastructure, a physical infrastructure made up of roads, parks, and trails, a technical infrastructure for government accessibility and delivery of services, and a social infrastructure where everyone is served and all feel a part of this great community. First, let's talk about the physical infrastructure. As mentioned earlier, through prudent financial management combined with revenue growth, this city has had an exceptional year. Our capital projects have moved forward at an unparalleled pace. Projects completed and underway in 2015 bring enormous potential for our city, promoting alternative transportation, healthy lifestyles, and economic growth. I want to thank our citizens for participating in infrastructure development as well through public meetings and service on city committees. Our fine engineering team is to be commended for development of new standards for street construction. These new standards impact pedestrian and bicycle facilities, bike lanes, and neighborhood traffic calming. Street and intersection design standards have been revised for a more pedestrian friendly, being more pedestrian friendly as well. well let's start with the first project we want to talk about tonight, the Van Ash Drive Extension Project. Part of the transportation bond program approved by the citizens. Now provides a direct connection from Garland Avenue, Highway 112 to our Uptown Restaurant and Retail Center. This project is a great example of voters, the city council, and staff all coming together to build and connect our community. In 2015, work began on the first segment of the Rupal Road Improvement Project, the largest project of the transportation bond program. When completed, Rupal Road will serve as an alternate north-south route, improve traffic flow, and complete connectivity with the emerging trail system. The Old Wire Road Improvement Project includes an overhaul of the intersection at Mission Boulevard and Old Wire and improvements from Mission Boulevard to Ash Street, allowing for protected movements and safer pedestrian and bicycle trails along the roadway and better traffic flow. The city has partnered with the University of Arkansas and the federal public schools for stadium drive improvements and with the University for Razorback Road Improvements. These roadways will help define significant through streets and boundaries of our city. The preservation of historic bridges. The city of Pebble has now begun repairing and rehabilitating the downtown Maple and Lafayette Street bridges, using specifications as close to original design as possible 
to preserve the integrity of the historic Art Deco structures. The bridges originally built in, mid, in the mid-1930s crossed over Arkansas and Missouri Railroad tracks between West and Arkansas avenues. The Spring Street Municipal Parking Deck. As your mayor in 2009, I promised area business owners and the entertainment district that I would pursue a parking deck project to support the growing number of visitors and employees in the entertainment district. In partnership with the Walton Art Center and University of Arkansas, the four-level parking facility project now includes 235 parking spaces for automobiles and secure covered bicycle parking with convenient access to the entertainment district. Thank you, Council. That was quite an accomplishment. Bikeways and trails. In 2015, the city completed 3.6 miles of new on-street bikeways and 3.4 miles of new shared-use paved trails, including the southern extension of the Razorback Regional Greenway. Major trail accomplishments include two sections of the Town Branch Trail and one section of the Claver Creek Trail. The city's urban trail system now includes 28 miles of multi-use trail paths in this city. A trail usage study recently commissioned by the Walton Family Foundation shows that usage in Northwest Arkansas is on par with cyclists in San Francisco and pedestrians in San Diego County. The study showed that three sections of the Skull Creek Trail in Fedville are seeing more than, listen to this council, more than 150,000 cyclists a year. And all three sections are among the five busiest places for cyclists on the 37 mile Razorback Regional Greenway. And in 2016, we will see the construction of an additional 5.8 miles of new shared use trails. Sidewalk and storm drainage improvement projects. Sidewalks are an essential part of the city's infrastructure, providing connections for pedestrians and bicyclists and carefully engineered storm drainage. Over 14,000 feet of sidewalks were constructed in 2015, including both replacement and new construction to complete important connections around town. Fedville also tripled sidewalk funding, adding to the city's walkability and connections to the trail system. In the past five years, the city has built over 60,000 feet or 11.4 miles of sidewalks throughout this city. The new College Avenue sidewalk project Plan for 2016 is a necessary part of the city's continued effort to make Fedville's neighborhoods walkable. The enhancements will provide much needed upgrades along College Avenue from Maple Street to North Street and will include 10 feet wide concrete sidewalks along both sides of the highway. The project will also include installation of decorative street lights and trees modification of traffic signals at Maple and North to accommodate four-way pedestrian crossings, reductions in driveway curb cuts, removal of overhead electric lines where feasible, and evaluation of a pedestrian crossing in the vicinity of Trenton and Rebecca to be approved by the Arkansas Highway Department. Our water and sewer utility work. Water and sewer projects are critical to our city's infrastructure. The city has begun construction on the Upper Skull Creek Drainage Improvement Project to alleviate flooding in the area. The utility department replaced or installed over 17,000 square feet of water pipe and over 6,000 square feet of sewer in 2015. Six new generators were installed. You remember when we had the ice storm and we didn't have any power? Six new gener generators were installed at water pumping stations, enabling 100% of our system to maintain water pressure and service in the event of a total power outage. Parks projects underway. The city of Fedville manages over 4,200 acres, which includes 35 parks, 16 natural areas, and 17 trails. 
We are constantly adding new programs and building new parks to keep up with the needs of our residents. This year, the city participated in the Northwest Arkansas Regional Open Space Plan to identify natural landscapes and open spaces that make this region an attractive place to live and to identify a strategy for conservation of these natural assets. In 2016, public meetings will be held to begin the design of the master plan for the additional 10 acres at Gully Park. The new regional park. Construction of the regional park phase one is well underway. This park will provide a consolidated venue for league and tournament sports as well as many other attractive and passive recreational opportunities. This is the largest project the Parks Department has worked on in over a decade. Located off Cato Springs Road in Southwest Federal, the property is comprised of over 232 acres. Due to strong HMR tax revenues in 2015, the city was able to add a fourth baseball field to the original plan and also lights for the six soccer fields. Also in the plans are two concession restroom buildings and associated parking. Soccer will be played on these new fields by the fall of 2016. This park will offer tremendous economic development opportunities as we bid on state and regional tournament events. The regional park is immediately adjacent to Kessler Mountain, an approximately 376 acre forest which will be preserved in its natural condition and open for public use. This nature preserved coupled with the develop, developed recreational area of the regional park will provide the people of Fedville and surrounding areas unparalleled outdoor recreation education, observation, and appreciation. The final draft of the Kessler Mountain Project will be taken to the Parks Board and then to you, the City Council, for approval in early spring. Citizens are already enjoying the almost seven miles of, of nature trail accessible from the new trailhead located at the site of the regional park. Our city facilities projects in 2015 also included maintenance and upgrades in over a dozen city facilities. Expansion and improvement of recycling and trash facility on Happy Hollow Road is currently underway. The project will add over 5,000 square feet to the facility and renovate the existing space. The new facility will relieve space needs for staff and parking shortfalls for the public. The recycling and trash division, the Yvonne Richardson Community Center, and the Air Port Tarmac are all having lighting, all had lighting retrofits, utilizing incentive funds from Swebco and ultimately saving over $13,000 per year in electricity and maintenance costs. The Federal Airport received $500,000 in state grants to conduct a much needed terminal apron repair and a $200,000 state grant to repaint and repair runway and taxiway services. In 2016, our work continues. I am focused on making sure that we continue to meet our goals to keep projects on time and on budget as we work to complete the renovation of the city council chamber, provide upgrades to the senior center kitchen, and begin development of the Woolsey Farm master plan. Secondly, I want to talk about technology tonight. It is a critical infrastructure in this city. This past year, your tax dollars at work this past year also included a considerable investment in the city's digital backbone. Our citizens demand more electronic interaction with their city government and in 2016, we will be meeting that demand with a $4.5 million upgrade in 2016. Federal has been recognized as a small city that rivals big cities 
and its digital practices. We know that transparency and accountability build trust. Our plan is to meet the people's expectations and send a citizen first message. All city departments now have the capability to manage and provide updates on their web pages on a daily basis. Over the next two years, our 20-year-old financial software system will be replaced and integrated with other software updates, including our core financials, annual budget, payroll, and human resource systems. The new software will provide self-service options to, to, to more efficiently serve this community. Online services citizens can now access a range from video on demand of city meetings, utility payments, job application, recreation program registration, and much, much more. Geographic Information Systems, GIS apps, developed in 2015, include a federal historic sites map, Razorback Greenway markers, public art installations, map and trash and recycling truck routes. Also in the area of GIS, our transportation division is installing new GPS location systems and snow removal vehicles, allowing us to locate vehicles and personnel, personnel during inclement weather, track streets where snow removal has occurred, and allowing us to respond more quickly in an emergency situation. Additional technology projects underway in 2016. The city will replace the audio-visual systems in the meeting rooms in the city administration building, make the operations consistent from room to room. We will upgrade the television center to fully digital high-definition system to meet industry standards and improve the audio and video quality of the signal for citizen engagement. Not only do we believe in transparent government and freedom of expression for our citizens, but we also believe in the power of images and video to capture the independent spirit and culture of this community. Sharing our city services and natural beauty, celebrating our accomplishments via the website and social media channels and continuing to offer more interactive services that will keep our citizens engaged in Federal's democratic process and the future of our community. The City of Federal believes that our digital backbone is just as important as our roads, bridges, trails, parks, and utilities. Our digital city will continue to be an engine for Federal's economic health targeting industries and workforce development for today's economy. Because of our emphasis on online accessibility to citizens, we will continue to work in 2016 to enhance access for all citizens to affordable broadband services. Federal is the first city in the state of Arkansas to join the next century cities a coalition of community leaders across the country who recognize the importance of leveraging digital assets to attract new businesses, create jobs, and connect residents to new opportunities. <clears throat> digital inclusion for all our citizens for online learning and access to job banks is a new goal we will define as we create Federal's broadband strategic plan in 2016. The next thing I want to talk about tonight is our social infrastructure. We are a healthy and welcoming city. In addition to building blocks of the physical that are the foundation of our city, it takes an equally solid social infrastructure to nurture every family, individual, and business so that our entire community can prosper. We are and we will continue to be a safe community 
The Federal Police Department has sustained accreditation year after year, demonstrating their level of professionalism and expertise that I, as your mayor, and federal citizens expect. They also recognize the value of our city's unique cultural diversity and strive to treat all citizens with kindness, tolerance, and dignity, protecting the rights and liberties and freedoms guaranteed by the law. Both FPD and the Federal Fire Department are focused on positive recruitment and selection of high caliber personnel with an emphasis on recruitment of a diverse workforce to better represent the census of the population we serve. The Federal Fire Department also retains its high standards year after year and has implemented a national testing network and fitness certification for entry level firefighter testing. The fire department also works to increase public fire safety education and conducts a federal family fire safety day each year. All of these notable, notable continuous improvements in our police and fire programs have allowed us to continue to respond in the face of our rapid growth, but we also recognize the need to plan for the inevitable future growth to maintain our standards. Last year, I, was, I asked our police chief and fire chief to provide a detailed plan for how we could keep up with this growth and maintain a safe and secure city. They analyzed call volume and response times in order to identify improvements to be made. And here's what they found. Federal's police department responded to nearly 23% increase in the federal, and the federal fire department saw a 36% increase in calls from 2008 to 2015. As we confirmed this trend in increased service calls, I asked our chief financial officer to determine the most appropriate funding mechanism to increase staff to support our high standards for response times in both police and fire. And as a result of the city council passing the $1.3 million new discretionary mill, we are now able to establish a new police beat expanded dispatch motor officer, a new company of firefighters to provide more coverage and quicker response times for a total of 19 new public safety officers in 2016. The cost for this increase in service is no more than $20 per $100,000 of home property value, and we believe this is a small investment to pay for the safety of our city. As I said when I, when I opened remarks in this section, we are a safe city and we will certainly keep it safe. We are a thriving workplace community. As a city, we strive to be a model for workplace productivity and one that rewards and motivates its employees. The city's increased revenue for the year combined with strong stewardship and money management will fully fund the salary package for employees this year without having to dip into the reserves. As mayor of this city, I am blessed with an incredibly, incredibly talented staff that we have here who manage our city resources with great care. We're a caring community. In 2015, Federal was awarded $574,209 and community development block funding. The city works with a number of service organizations to assist low to moderate income residents. We distribute energy efficiency and weatherization kits to qualifying residents, providing tools to weatherize homes and reduce water usage. The taxi program assisted elderly and disabled residents, and the transit program assists low and moderate income citizens with fixed route and assisted transit passes. Our goal of the Community Development Program for 2016 is to assist homeless persons to obtain affordable housing and assist persons at risk of becoming homeless to secure affordable permanent housing. 
particularly disadvantaged citizens and persons with special needs. We held the fifth annual festival in conjunction with First Thursday. Festival is a celebration of the many cultures of the Ozarks and provides exposure to many organizations, groups, performers, and artists in our region, our Animal Services Division. In December, the City Council approved renaming the Federal's Animal Shelter to the Lib Horn Animal Shelter of Federal in honor of Lib Horn's long-standing service to the city both as Animal Services Director and as champion to its animal inhabitants. Following Lib's ideals, Federal takes great pride in caring for our animals and will continue to set an example of what a quality animal shelter represents. When I came into this office, the euthanasia rate at the shelter was over 50% in 2009. And today, through 2015, and today, it continues to, to be low at 9.4%, despite taking 257 more pets this year and adopting, re, reuniting, or sending rescue to 235 more animals. We also saw a 27% increase in returning pets to owners and increased our low, our number of low spay neuter surgeries by more than 100 over the same time period in 2014. Rangers Pantry continues to help citizens experiencing financial hardship to get food for their pets so they don't have to surrender them because they can't feed them. We are a sustainable community. One major accomplishment for Federal in 2015 was the establishment of the city's PACE Improvement Project. The first in the state of Arkansas, PACE, or Property Assessed Clean Energy, is a creative financing mechanism allowing commercial property owners to borrow money at, a very, low, at very low interest rates. Energy efficiency, renewable energy, or water conservation improvements are a goal for this city. Work continues on the Solid Waste Reduction, Diversion, and Recycling Master Plan, and pilot projects are underway to determine effectiveness of types of recycling collection services and solid waste composting. The City of Federal's efforts to boost recycling received this year's Arkansas Environmental Stewardship Award, known as the Envy Award the highest environmental award given by the state of Arkansas, Department of Environmental Quality. The Keep Federal Beautiful Committee conducted two cleanups at both Lake Federal and the Razorback Greenway Trail Network, and one at the Lake Sequoia to remove trash, litter, and recyclable materials. Keep Federal Beautiful also conducted the annual litter index survey. In 2016, we plan to set more bold goals in sustainability in this city. One will be to prioritize STAR outcomes and actions to be implemented over the next two years with a focus on becoming a four-star community. We will begin to track and report community greenhouse gas emissions with the goal of achieving an 80% reduction in community-wide greenhouse gas emissions in our future. We owe this to our children and our children's children, and this we will do. We're a natural community. Federal's natural beauty, its gardens, open spaces, and natural habitat preservation continue to grow. This year's celebration of trees gave away over 800 trees to citizens. The city carefully selects tree types for installation along sidewalks and trails to provide shade to enhance walkability. The, urban, the park's urban forestry and sustainability departments have begun to focus on invasive species removal and habitat restoration we are increasing efforts to remove invasive plants in response to concerns about the rapid spread, which harms our ecosystem by choking out native plants and reducing the natural insect and animal habitat. 
This past summer, goats were brought in to munch on poison ivy, honeysuckle, privet, and other invasive plants at Wilson Park. The city received national recognition for the Greedy Goats Program and the National Parks and Wildlife Magazine. The Invasive, invasive Plant Ordinance Amendment and education publication are significant steps in a community approach to dealing with invasive plants that are in response to years of research and effort from active residents and citizen advisory boards and other efforts to increase the native habitat. I recently signed the Save the Monarch Butterfly Pledge with the National Wildlife Federation. The North American monarch population has declined by more than 90% 90% in the last two decades. In response to a call from the Wildlife Federation, several of our departments are working together to plant more habitat and engage our citizens in the spring and fall of 2016. We're a healthy community. With its active transportation plan, Federal is committed to developing an inclusive multimodal transportation system to create a livable transportation network of bicycle and sidewalk infrastructure. We believe that combining pedestrian and bicycle planning into active transportation planning will yield the maximum return on the public's investment and lead to a more healthy and vibrant community. Federal's miles of trails lend themselves to a bicycle-friendly city. Federal is a League of American Bicyclists designated bicycle friendly community, boasting six locally owned bike shops and an ever growing network of bike trails and bike lanes. Federal's bike friendliness attracts visitors and new residents, reduces traffic congestion, keeps us healthy, and boosts the economy. With some of the best mountain biking trails in the country, Northwest Arkansas is also has also become a destination for mountain bikers. The Razorback Regional Greenway is a 36 mile primarily shared use trail that extends from South Federal to the Bella Vista Trail, linking dozens of popular destinations across six downtown areas. The University of Arkansas, historic sites, arts and entertainment venues, parks, shopping areas, and residential communities. The Greenway in Federal was funded with a federal transportation grant and a gift, from the, a gift from the Walton Family Foundation and matching city funds. An important transportation link in Northwest Arkansas. Council, we believe the Greenway is a central spine connecting all of the trail systems of the surrounding cities, destination events, group ride, rides and adventure races are increasing traffic on the Greenway, which is becoming a ribbon of commerce in this city and in this region. Tourism in Federal has become a year-round adventure with new destinations opening up every day, all accessible by the most successful and complete multimodal transportation network available. In 2016, we will continue our partnership with the University of Arkansas to develop a community bike share program for Federal, and will develop an online public bicycle rack request program to facilitate the installation of more bike racks on public streets. The first year of the Federal Race Series launched by the Parks and Recreation Department drew a total of 1,274 participants. This race has been a grassroots effort with the ambition to become a premier race series in Arkansas. We're a fun community. Every season in Federal is beautiful and each has its own unique event schedule. There is something for everyone here. From Razorback Sports and the city's many great festivals, to the Farmer's Market and Gully Park concerts, to the free dive-in movies at Wilson Park sponsored by the Federal Firefighters Association. Federal continues to be a great place to live, to work, and to play. A performing and visual, we're also a performing and visual arts community. 
Fayetteville is also gaining a reputation for its vibrant arts and cultural scene, according to livability.com. As Fayetteville's population grows, so too does the interest in more and more arts and entertainment. The city continues its long established partnership with the Walton Arts Center, with new administrative offices and the addition of backstage spaces located in a new building on the north side of the Spring Street parking deck. We're also excited about the new expanded entry that promises to transform the relationship between the Walton Arts Center, Dixon Street, and the Entertainment District. The city has also collaborated with Theater Squared to achieve a significant multi-million dollar grant for design services and has committed the use of city property for their new 51,000 square foot theater, another major capital and cultural investment in our downtown area. Public art continues to grow in federal with a newly painted mural on the square, the gift from the local artist of a sculpture on the Frisco Trail, and continuation of the University of Arkansas Upstream Art Project. Painting storm drains to bring educational awareness to storm water pollution, Keep Federal Beautiful is continuing its utility box art program to combat graffiti and city parks is working with art students in Federal public schools to display student art on the trails. In 2016, we're looking forward to an expanding partnership with the University of Arkansas Art Department for the new art and design district to be established between the Chalagi Trail and Martin Luther King Boulevard off Government Avenue. We're an educated community. Our schools in 2015 federal dedicated our new $96 million high school, a state-of-the-art facility in the school system which is second to none in the state of Arkansas. The University of Arkansas saw student enrollment increase a new record of 27,754 students are, are now attending the University of Arkansas. A research and technology park at the U of A continues to grow and is home to dozens of technology startups. Our great federal public library. Our world-class federal public library continues to provide services to all our citizens, including the students of our public and private schools. Over one million items, million items were circulated in 2015. Library visits increased by 18%. Program attendance has increased by 10%. Reference services answered over 78,000 questions last year. The library hosted the third annual True Lit Federal Literary Festival and attendance increased by 44% from 2014 with almost 900 people attending the Lois Lowry keynote lecture at the Federal Public Library. Several notable and award-winning authors were hosted this year. The summer reading program offered a 10-week series for all age groups, including the mayor, and the, and the library provided free lifelong learning classes on a variety, wide variety of subjects. In 2016, the Federal Public Library will host a centennial celebration, will grow and expand through lit, and will pursue plans to introduce a new app to increase access to online library services. We are a growing community. Federal's rapidly growing population from the U.S. Census Bureau in 2010 reported 73,581 people to the current estimate of 80,621 and projections that maintain a strong growth is a strong indicator of a thriving community. Many people locate the federal because of quality of life, its educational opportunities, and its welcoming business climate. Through federal's business license program, listen to these numbers, council. Through the city's business license program, city planning processed 767 new business applications and 2,971 renewal applications for 2015. Both new businesses and renewals of existing business license are at an all-time high 
with a total of 3,738 businesses in this city. 250 items were reviewed through the Planning Commission, Board of Adjustment, and Historic District <coughs> Commission, and there were 433 new dwelling units and over 86,000 square feet of non-residential space approved this year. All of this physical and digital infrastructure provides the foundation for our city's growth, growth that can be measured by over 700 building permits approved this year, amounting to approximately $1,200,000 in permits revenue, including several major projects such as Whole Foods, the Walmart Neighborhood Market, opening this spring, and a number of single and multifamily homes, projects, and student housing across town. In addition, our Development Services Department also served as liaison for economic development assisting new startup expansion businesses in federal, such as Matova and Overdrive brands to locate and or expand their facilities. Work will continue in 2016 on the Transportation Master Plan, which could drive future transportation projects for a decade or more. We will begin the City Plan 2035 process and hold, we are holding and will continue to hold regular developer focus groups to gain input, perspective on potential code and process reform. Federal is experiencing a vibrant and healthy economic climate. It is a great place to nurture your families and build your dreams, your ideas, and your businesses. We have been blessed with steady growth over the past few years in all of the measurable indicators, from record increases in sales tax, building permits, and population growth, to the infrastructure development that provides building blocks for the future and sustains and enhances our quality of life. Federal is a progressive, business-friendly community. We believe it takes the partnership of the entire community to move its economic engine forward. We are a progressive city for economic development. Let's talk a little bit about Federal First tonight. Well, yet Strategic Advisors has been engaged to develop the city's new economic development strategic plan, update Federal First, which will include identification of targeted business sectors, opportunities, along with the development of strategic recommendations to position Federal for continued economic development success. We are asking citizens and business leaders through stakeholder group meetings and surveys to rank business sectors and opportunities for investment and job create, creation as to the best fit for Fedville in order to target our economic development efforts. I received the report today on the survey that was sent out. How long has that survey been sent out, Jeremy? Two weeks? Week and a half, and we've have over a hundred. Uh, we've had over a thousand people do that survey in this city. And that's quite good. We will be looking at best practices and benchmarking against progressive and successful cities across the nation. Once this plan is completed, we will make recommendations for city council consideration and action to take this city to the next competitive level for continued prosperity. Moving forward, I am thinking of how much our city has grown, how it has changed, and how it continues to excel in rankings and awards. I reflect on its diversity, and I marvel at its strengths and what great things we have ahead for us. We want to take this opportunity to harness our city's positive momentum and update our focus target industries, and future opportunities for continued economic success to make Federal First succeed, not only on a local, but on a global competitive scale. Now, I know many of you have heard people say they're tired of everything going up north, but I'm tired of hearing it too. But I want to ask you, when you hear the, these comments, I want you to remember the successes and accomplishments of your city 
as supported by all the statistics and progress in this state of the city report. I want you to reflect on these facts, be able to tell your neighbors about them, and know that you live in a progressive city, and one that continues to set the bar high and lead the way for others to follow. Fedville has proven time and again that it is a welcoming, fair, and tolerant city. People live and stay here not because of what we market, my friends, but because of what we believe. And as I close, when I count the number of ways that I truly love this city, I always think of its natural, breathtaking beauty, its unique spot in the universe up among the hills, and as some call it, the Athens of the Ozarks. It is carefully planned urban, it's carefully planned urban architecture, and these days it's economic vitality. But when I count the ways that I love this city and the people that make it so unique, I am truly awestruck that we can all be so lucky to live here. We live in a safe community, a community that fosters a thriving workplace environment, a caring city, a sustainable community, a natural and healthy community, a fun community with unique tourism and performing and visual arts, an educated community, and a progressive city. Fedbull is all of these because it is a diverse and welcoming community for everyone and a community with a vigorous tradition of freedom of expression and tolerance. And as I close tonight, I leave you with this final thought, and it comes from Ralph Waldo Emerson. I was reading him the, a week or so ago as we were putting this speech together, and Emerson, as said, he looked out his window at his rose garden, and in this rose garden was this rose that he noticed. This rose was not concerned about the roses of the past or the roses of the future, but it was beautiful and perfect in its time and in its place, which is now. And I know why I love this city, and I know why you love this city. We've had a tremendous history in this city, and we have a tremendous future ahead of us. And we all know and believe also that this city is beautiful and perfect in its time and in its place, which is now. Thank you all.